In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly how you can scrape LinkedIn in order to find your ideal prospects, emails, and phone numbers. And that way, you'll be able to build epic prospecting campaigns so that you can generate clients with your ideal customer base. So if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, stay notified. I'll be releasing a ton more videos just like this for you to improve the growth of your business. So the first step is you're gonna need access to LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Normal LinkedIn is fine, but there's some major limitations that Microsoft has put into LinkedIn to try to actually get you to just subscribe to the premium version. For example, normal LinkedIn doesn't give you that many filters, so you can't really get very specific when it comes to finding the right leads. And you only have a limited number of searches that you can make per month before they just freeze you out. So none of this is like super good uh, for someone who's trying to actually build an outbound campaign or outbound process with LinkedIn. So that's why I recommend Sales Navigator, which will Will have zero limits in terms of searching as well as it'll give you just much much more power in terms of filtering and finding the appropriate leads that you're gonna to need to get of course this is a premium version so you will have to pay for it but for me I think it's worth it for anyone that's serious about building out their b2b business so with that being said the first thing that I would do is find the appropriate leads so you would go in the sales nav you would click lead filters and you actually can see a pretty wide variety of filters that you can utilize in order to identify your ideal prospects vanilla linkedin will not have the majority of these so company headcount maybe if you're going after smaller companies you would use one to ten but obviously it goes all the way up to the largest companies on the planet that are on linkedin maybe you're going after job titles so you might uh, look at ceo or founder, right? And then you can pretty much put in as many options as you would like, and they'll even recommend you specific options if you uh, don't have any in mind. So there's a lot more, right? Like how long has this person worked at the specific company? Maybe you're going after someone who's been there for a while. Um, you can even go after people who speak a certain language. Uh, which is really good because obviously not everyone is using LinkedIn in an English speaking country. Um, years of experience, geography is really great if you're going after specific states, countries, or continents, whatever else it may be. Something that I've actually done before is I've gone after people who are in specific groups. So for example, you can go after someone who's inside a SaaS group because you would assume that if they are inside this group on LinkedIn, then they're probably interested in this particular topic. So lots and lots of different ways in which you can actually build these lists. Now you can see here, the list that I've built is pretty small, 274. Generally speaking, the list that you're trying to build, you want to keep it under 2,500 names. And the reason why is because the scraping tools that I'm going to be sharing with you today is not able to scrape more than 2,500 entries. So that's why if you have a list of say 10,000 people, you should just add additional search criteria in order to make it smaller so that it's under the 2,500 person threshold. And that way you're able to scrape it all. With LinkedIn, my recommendation is if you have a search, you want to go into the save searches and pretty much just save it and give it a naming convention that makes it really easy for you to understand. For example, uh, I wanted to build the search here that was primarily for CEOs and founders in England between the company size of 11 to 50 employees in the world of business consulting at least two years old. So I've already pre-saved this list and you can actually see that I already have just over 2,500 results here and you can actually pretty much just utilize that as one of your searches, for example, that you would then go and scrape. Now, as far as how you could then take these leads and scrape them to get their email, their phone number, and all that good stuff, there's a little bit of a process. So I'll go through this with you step by step. The first step is you wanna actually install this extension. Phantom Buster is the tool that we're gonna be using to actually just export a lot of the information out of LinkedIn into a CSV. So go ahead and just Google Phantom Buster and you should be able to find the Chrome extension really fast and then you can install it. Now, the next thing that you wanna do is of course make an account with Phantom Buster and that way you can use their tool. So Phantom Buster is really interesting. They actually provide 
a really awesome tool that you can use to extract data from almost anything, whether it be from LinkedIn is what I'm sharing with you today, but you can actually use it to extract information from Instagram or Twitter. You're able to pretty much pull apart and find data from almost any social media platform out there, or you could even use it to generate activities such as, oh, I want to automatically just like a bunch of tweets on Twitter. Instagram is another example, right? You can auto comment on posts or you could export hashtags. So pretty much whatever it is that you want it to do, you can find a phantom buster that can enable you to do that. So if you want to use this tool, just go to my uh, description box below and you can actually find a link where you can sign up and try it out for free. So with that being said, the tool that we're going to be using, of course, today is the sales navigator search export. So this will allow you to pretty much go into sales nav and extract all the information that you need out of this. So the steps in which you need to follow in order to execute this, first of all, pretty much click use this phantom naturally. You should already have the phantom buster Chrome extension here. And then there's a couple things that you want to set up. First of all, go into edit and then you want to connect to LinkedIn if you haven't already. So this is going to be blank prior to you having this extension. But once you click it, it'll pretty much save to your LinkedIn profile, assuming you're logged in. And then you want to pretty much put in the URL. So you would pretty much copy and paste this URL and then you throw it into Phantom Buster. Okay. So you save that. Now, a couple things that you want to do is you want to set this to 2,500. If you recall earlier, I said that the maximum number of leads that you want to pull from LinkedIn is 2,500. So that's where we're going to input that number here. And then everything else, you can just leave it as is save. And then once per day is totally fine. So now we can actually go and launch this and it's going to take a little bit of time, but once you give it between 30 minutes to an hour, it should be able to spit out a CSV that will be available for you to download. So just for the purpose of saving some time, I'm going to share with you exactly what it ends up looking like uh, after you download the information from Phantom Buster. So here you are. I'm just dragging in this sheet here. If I was to widescreen this, you'll actually see that the information it gives you is the LinkedIn URL and then it'll give you full name first name, last name, company name, and it'll also start giving you some of the other entries in LinkedIn. For example, it'll give you the summary and the bio that they put into their LinkedIn profile, right? It'll give you the industry. It'll give you a whole lot more, but the issue is it's not going to give you email or phone number. And that's actually the information that you need. So once you actually have this information, the next step is you want to then go and try to find the email and the phone number associated with each and every single one of these potential leads. So that's where you use drop contact. Drop contact is really great because all you need to do is actually import the CSV that you're able to get from Phantom Buster. And then it'll pretty much just tell you what the email and the phone number is for every one of these contacts. So the easiest way that you can do that is just to upload my file. And then from there, we can just choose the appropriate file sample data phantom buster is the one that I just shared with you. And then you can pretty much just upload it. This will also take a little bit of time for it to finish. It depends on how large the list is. Of course, my list is a lot smaller than 2,500 just because it's a sample list. So it won't take very much time at all. Once you do this, it'll actually provide you a CSV where you will have all the emails and phone numbers for all those individual contacts. So drop contact is actually a free tool that you can use. I've actually put a link in the description box below and you can pretty much give it a test run yourself and see if it's helpful for you. Now, just for the sake of time, I'm just going to share with you what the CSV will look like once you have the chance to download it. So here is the sample data from drop contact. And now you can actually see there are emails. The phone numbers are a little bit harder to get. You're not going to always be able to get the appropriate phone number, but whenever it does have the phone number, it'll give it to you. And this is really, really great because now from LinkedIn, you've been able to expose the actual email and potentially the phone number as well. 
Now, the problem with some of this data, though, is that some of this information might be out of date. For example, people who move jobs around or they join new opportunities. So not all of this contact information is actually going to be delivered appropriately. And that's dangerous because what you don't want is to run an automation campaign where only 90% of your emails are good and 10% actually bounce. If you have a 10% bounce rate or even a 3% bounce rate, to be honest, Google and all these email servers are going to freak out. They're going to think that you're spamming and it's just going to be bad overall for your email domain health. And this will be very bad because if you continue to do this, then Google is going to eventually just flag you as a spam worthy account and they're going to freeze your email and you won't be able to send any more of these campaigns. So the way that you get around this is you actually take this CSV and you import it into a cleaner. And what a cleaner does is it allows you to verify whether or not the emails are actually real and active. Now, Clearout is a tool that I use to pretty much clean up the emails and make sure that they are valid. So the way that you can use it is, first of all, go to email verifier, and then you can pretty much just upload a list of emails from the CSV. So I'll put in a sample data set today just so that it can be done easily and that I can open that up. And then once this is actually loaded 100%, then you can pretty much just go to email verify lists and then you can click verify. And then you'll wait between 30 minutes to an hour, depends on how large the list is. And then you'll pretty much see a bunch of those emails being validated and some of the emails are now invalidated as well. And that means you should actually not export them. Typically, I would say that 75% of the emails will be decent and 25% are not going to be deliverable and you should just pretty much avoid them. So here you download the result and you download only the ones that are guaranteed deliverables because the other ones are risky and they'll end up hurting your domain health. And there you go. You got your perfect list of extracted data from LinkedIn with all the information that you need in order to properly prospect emails, phone numbers, validated and ready to go. Now you might be wondering, once you have all of this data, what do you do with it? Well, watch this video right here where I actually explain exactly what you can do to build a high performing outreach campaign that you can utilize this contact information for. By the way, guys, I've helped over 120 other companies from agencies to consulting firms all the way to SaaS businesses on how they can actually scale by improving their sales processes. So if that's actually something that you need a little bit of help with, let's just have a conversation. You can book a call in my calendar below and we can book a chat. All right, cheers and see you next time.